Good morning everybody and welcome to day 26 of the Chonky Trundler Camino Portuguese. Yep, trundling to Santiago. Day 3 of our uh, spiritual variant. Yeah, um, the day after the big hill. Yeah, and actually I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, uh, we slept amazing in this. Uh, we were in a booking.com uh, we, we thought we would treat ourselves after the big hill in case it was horrible. So we got a very nice house with uh, really nice beds and Yeah, I'll, we'll put the link up shower. as as usual. Um, yeah. It was uh, a it bit was more great. expensive than our usual accommodation. Yeah, but we thought just in case it's off. <laughs> Uh, and it was well worth it. Yeah. Uh, the people running it were wonderful. They let us in early. Uh, we were they tired. Left breakfast because the bars uh, opened late here. Today. Yeah, for getting breakfast. It's um, in walking distance from the um, from the convent monastery. Even even if you're very tired. Yeah. Um, so today uh, we think we'll probably be about maybe fourteen. Uh, it's probably going to be 15 hours, let's face it, every day is 15 We don't know because so. it's in between stages on Camino in India, but that stage is like 28 kilometers, so no. Yeah, so we, we think our day should be about 14 or 15, and I'll put the map up of where we're going because I'm not even sure of the little village that we're staying in. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to be heading north, and so that's in the right direction. Yep. Um, so, uh, beautiful weather. Oh, stunning weather. Um, back in my shorts again. It's so, actually quite cool this morning, but the sun yeah. is making up for it already. Yeah, already. So, really looking forward to taking you with us. Uh, should be a fantastic day. Mm -hmm. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.
So this is where you've got to cross the river, so be very, very careful here. No, you don't. I'm only kidding. Do not cross the river there. Okay, this is where you cross the river. The Chonky Committee has reviewed it and declared it a bench and therefore you know the rules. Hey everyone, so quick update. Yep, uh, we're about three kilometres in but uh, there's about two of these kilometres that are quite rough going and you've probably just seen the video so you will know what you're in for. I mean it's beautiful, it's, it's really really pretty, it's like a little enchanted forest. Yeah. Um, and in this weather it was doable yes it was it, it was fine yeah with Even care a uh, bit of care and attention yeah um but if there's rain or it rained the day before yeah then um there is an alternative that you can do you can skip this section and go down the uh the road it's um, not on thingy but it's easy enough to find i mean i think you're just basically walking on the other side of the stream a little bit raised up so you will still get to see parts of the stream you just won't have to jump up and down the big boulders yeah i mean but it's not bad and it, it's really worth it because it really is uh, a little enchanted forest top tip for the people with uh, ankle or knee problems do bring sticks they're really good for balance there yeah and there's some sort of fairly deep steps and things like that but there's water mills and all sorts we felt like Elves running through a forest, it was just well, run, stunning. Staggering. Okay, okay, fine. Staggering through Ma the forest. Moving through the forest. Yes, trundling. Um, elves, elves do not trundle. <laughs> but it's it's only about two Wolves kilometers. visiting the elven realms. It's only about two kilometers worth, um, and there's yeah. some old ruined water mills and stuff, which really adds to it. Yeah, it's very cool. I think um, it had a name, the path, like, uh, the path of stone and water. Yeah, something like that. So, looking forward to taking you with us. Uh, a fabulous day so far. About two, two and a half kilometers or so, I think, in. Probably about another 12 to go. Uh, but one little thing. Uh, after the two kilometers, the path seems to go nice and friendly again. Yeah. So, we're hopeful. You can really stride along then. Yeah. Okay. See you later, Bye. everyone. Take care. Bye. We're taking a shortcut. Yes, a giant shortcut. I feel much better now. This will knock hours, hours off our day. <laughs> Is it as good as the Kendall Mint Cake? No. <laughs> Nothing is as good as Kendall Mint Cake. Ain't that the truth? Hey everyone. Um, we just stopped for a little break. Um, we're only Point actually... Seven? Yeah, but only about four of those kilometres are actual Camino kilometres. Which yes. probably means we've got at least ten more to go. Uh, it was a much later start today. We didn't leave, get moving until about eleven o'clock. And we needed a stamp, yeah. and the place didn't open till 10. It's only worth it, though. 
Um, fantastic day so far, beautiful weather still. Stopping for snacks, of course I'm choosing my snacks to match the colour of my bottle now. Um, I'm kit catting all the way baby. Absolutely. Right, we'll see you later everyone, take care, bye. bye. Even the chonky trundlers don't have the heart to sit on a bench as sad as that. Poor bench. Look at that, we're walking past a bench. So, uh, Camino Ninja tells us to cross here. So I'm gonna give that a go. So Tina's gonna hold my phone in case I fall. Yeah, no. What we're going to do is we're going to go around and take the road. No, no thank you. found a herd of benches and therefore we must sit
We're tired now. <laughs> Let's see how far. 14. 14 kilometers. I think we've probably got another kilometer or so to go. We were a bit goosed after the descent and the start. Yeah, that took it out of us. Plus it was a very late start today. But nearly there now. Huzzah! <laughs> sorry we're a bit hysterical now so that is the end of day 26 whatever we the said the end of morning. day 26 oh wow okay that's that's amazing it was a long day a very long day um i think it was about 14 camino kilometers which is actually a very it was a good guess because we knew it was 28 kilometers from armentira to Villa de Arusa, and we thought our place was roughly in the middle, and it turned out it was exactly in the middle. It was a beautiful day. We followed a river all day. It was just... Spectacular. Yeah, it was great. But really loud. I know, it's, it's nice and quiet in the room, and, and you know what it feels like when you've been to a concert, it's like your head slightly it ringing. It was just rushing water yeah. next to us all day, which is, you know, amazing. Yeah. It's much better than sitting there hearing traffic and, and, and terrible noise. But We're walking through um, vineyards, wine country anyway, and they are out now with their tractors, so we had some of machine noise here and there too. I think the first half of the day was walking through woods. Um, and which was great because it was quite sunny today when yeah. we set off. Um, so it was nice. We were in a bit of shade. It was actually quite, not quite chilly, but, no, but it was cool. Because of the, the river, it was a sort of humidy air, yeah, but was, in this little gully. It was a beautiful uh, morning. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, this afternoon really was walking past vineyards. And a um, big river. And the river, of course, the ever-present river. Uh, and one river would just hand us over to the next river and then we would just carry on. So many little bridges, most yeah. of them really good shape. A couple? Yeah, not so much. You'd have to see where it's sagging the most and try to choose the other and Choose side. the other bits, yeah. But it was fine. Um, oh, and we had a little break here in the afternoon with coffee and stuff. Like, yeah, it's very a, necessary. A and great it's, place for lunch. And we just dodged a little bit of rain, so um, lucky. One thing we haven't seen today, um, there was quite a few painted signs, and some of the other ones, but um, not a huge amount of signs. But the thing that I noticed today was almost no uh, peregrinos. No, we have been yo-yoing with a couple from a couple of women from the UK. UK, and other than that, have we seen any other peregrinos? <sighs> I don't think. Uh, yes, that was the, uh, the the trail runners from Venezuela oh, yeah. and wherever. Yeah. We only saw them once, though. Yeah, they were literally running yeah. and walking uh, the Camino. Good for them. Uh, for the last hundred kilometers, anyway. Um, but we had a very late start this morning. Um, yeah, we needed another stamp, and the bar opened at ten o'clock, so we weren't out of there till quarter to eleven. Yeah, so I guess most people would have gone. Um, we got to the. The hotel, what's the name of the place we're staying in? Hostel Olegado de Ramira. We will pop it up there. Looks lovely. It um, really is. It's a bar and a restaurant, so you can just go downstairs for food, and it looks like there's a bar and a restaurant. You've got to check in online and yes. register a passport. But this time it worked. Um, mm. Registered online, and when we got here, she said, Have you registered online? We said, Yes, yes. and she said, Fine, okay. Um, tomorrow? Should be a similar sort of day. Yeah. Um, we've got a little bit of homework to do tonight. We need to book the boat. Wow. For Villa de Arusa. So we'll get there tomorrow and then we catch the boat up to Padron. Hoping uh, for a short day that day. Yeah. Hope so. But what a beautiful stage. Yeah, it really um, has. Despite it being quite tough with the walking down, I wouldn't change a thing. No. No. Um, walking downhill, actually for the first couple of kilometers um, was as 
strenuous as walking up. I yeah, would say. in a different way for mm. me. I had to watch different where I put, set of muscles and put things, every but, single step basically. Um, but all yeah. four hundred meters that you gained yesterday, you give away in the first couple of kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> Feels a bit mean, but whatever. Uh, so there we go. Yep. Um, other than that, all good. Mm. Um, awesome day. Looking forward to tomorrow. Um, starting to sink in now that we're getting toward the end. Yeah, um, we're, when we're walking around, we're starting to talk about plans for what to do what later. What to do next. But that's not coming out just yet. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see you tomorrow and we will take you along with us to Villanova de Arusa and then we'll take it from there. Have a good evening, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hello everybody, uh, four kilometers in, what do you think Tina? That you shouldn't film when I'm eating! <laughs> ah! Again. This time I'm choosing my snacks! Mm-hmm.